Good evening, my name is Kevin Camps. I'm with Beyond Nuclear, based in Tacoma Park, Maryland. We're a watchdog organization on the nuclear power industry. I'm also a board member of Don't Waste Michigan, representing the Kalamazoo chapter. At the earlier session, I spoke about radioactive waste impacts of Fermi 3. And tonight, I'd like to talk about um, socioeconomic impacts. That'll be the, the area. So, regarding uh, taxpayer loan guarantees that's been mentioned today, the only way that DTE can finance the construction of its proposed Fermi 3 reactor is for U.S. taxpayers to bear all the financial risks. In 2003, the Congressional Budget Office warned that over half of all new reactor projects would likely default on their loan repayments. Wall Street and investment firms are not interested in, in shouldering such risks. Thus, the nuclear power industry pressured the U.S. Congress in 2005 to authorize federal loan guarantees. Now, if new reactors default, taxpayers will be held liable to repay the loans to the tune of many billions of dollars for each defaulted reactor. However, the U.S. Department of Energy recently decided that the General Electric Hitachi so-called Economic Simplified Boiling Water Reactor design proposed at Fermi 3 will not receive any of the $18.5 billion already approved by Congress in nuclear loan guarantees a year ago. Because of this, the biggest nuclear utility in the United States, Exelon of Chicago, announced last November that it would not pursue ESBWRs at its new twin reactor project in Victoria County Station, Texas. Upon announcing its rejection of the ESBWR design, Exelon told NRC that another reactor design would, quote, enhance Exelon's ability to obtain federal loan guarantees, which are essential for financing a new nuclear development project, end quote. DTE has yet to explain how it will finance Fermi 3 absent uh, taxpayer loan guarantees. The nuclear power industry has already enjoyed over $500 billion in public subsidies over the past 50 years. The giveaways have included $145 billion in federal research and development. Tens of billions of dollars from ratepayers poured into the Nuclear Waste Fund for irradiated nuclear fuel disposal. Hundreds of millions to billions of dollars per year in the form of insurance premiums that the nuclear power industry does not have to pay because the Federal Price-Anderson Act puts liability risks for major accidents onto the backs of U.S. taxpayers. $125 billion in household and business payments on electricity bills to pay off nuclear utilities' construction debts on the last generation of reactors. The list goes on and on. DTE has even applied to the Michigan Public Service Commission to allow an additional tens of millions of dollars to be charged on ratepayer electricity bills to cover its expenses in filing paperwork with the USNRC for the Fermi 3 reactor proposal. <clears throat> 